Hola queridos amigos, soy Alex Flores y bueno, estoy aquí en Hot Dogs. Eh, como ustedes sabrán, Las Perlas TV cubre Hot Dogs año tras año. En este momento vamos a estar entrevistando al protagonista y al director de Transformer. Es un documental que trata de un deportista eh, que hizo una transición de mujer a hombre y que bueno, esta transición pues le costó mucho trabajo, le costó mucho tiempo por el personaje que él es ahora. Entonces, eh, quédense con nosotros para que escuchen esta, 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 esta entrevista que realmente pienso que va a tocar los corazones de mucha gente. Well, uh, audience, I'm so excited, but like you just had no idea. I'm excited, there's Janet Kroc here with me from the documentary Transformer presented at Hot Dogs. Right now, go get tickets because for sure you won't, you won't find tickets if you just go in the rush line. Anyway, Janet, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So, I always was thinking that our transgender people are like uh, the ones they always are in the front of the battle for human rights. But, um, and you show it very well. Um, how, when did you realize that your life was going to be a woman, that you were in the ground body? Yeah. Um, I knew by the time I was five or six years old that, you know, I had all these feelings. I, I found myself daydreaming about being a girl all the time and I didn't understand it. I don't even think I knew what the word transgender meant then. And I didn't even know that other people like me existed. But I knew how I felt, but I also knew already that it wasn't okay to be open about it. I knew that my parents wouldn't be supportive. I knew that I was terrified of what my friends and family would think. And I knew I had to hide it. And then so I grew up with a lot of shame and guilt. And um, you know, it made growing up very tough because I was hiding so much. But yeah, I knew at a very young age. And when the, the star came to you and said, this is it, I'm going to be who I want to be. I think eventually, you know, all of us reach a point in our lives where there's certain things we're battling and we're like, look, life is too short and, and we, it's time to move forward and be honest about who I am. And for me, I, you know, I, looking back, I don't know how in the world I held it in for so long and I hid it for so long because I'm a very open person, person naturally. And um, so by the time, I didn't tell anyone until I was 23, but then I continued to hide everything even after that. It was really in my early 30s when I finally reached a point. My, my first marriage to, the, um, to my boy's mother was ending, and, um, and I, I just couldn't do it anymore. And it was just really too much, and, I, and I'm like, I have to deal with this, and I have to figure out who I am and what all this means. So really, that was a little over a decade ago. So it's been probably 10 to 12 years that I've been evolving and, and just trying to be open and honest with myself and like, who am I? What makes me happy? What do I want from life? And yeah, so it's been a process. It hasn't been easy, but, but it's, it's been well worth it. Watching your trailer, I was with my son who is eight years old. And when he finished, when we finished the trailer, he said, Mama, I want to see the documentary. Oh, wow. And it is very tender for me about to see you with your three boys. How was the transition, the talking to them? Well, fortunately, I made the decision to be honest with them from the time they were very young age. I told them when they were two, four, and six. It was very important to me to be open and honest to them. And a lot, you know, some people, their mom didn't think it was a good idea. She thought it would be too hard on them. But I was like, no, it's actually, it's gonna, it, it's the right thing to do. I said, what will, she, she described it as, it will mess them up. And I said, no, what's gonna mess them up is if I hide it from them and lie to them for a really long period of time, eventually they're gonna find out and then they're gonna wonder why, why didn't you tell us? Why didn't you share this with us? If it's nothing to be ashamed of, why would you hide it? So when they were two, four, and six, I, I you know, called them in to, to a room and, and just said, hey guys, and, and tried to explain it to them in, in an age appropriate way that they could understand. And, and they were kind of like, okay. And then I said, well, I'm gonna change my clothes, I'm gonna put some makeup on, and then, you know, we'll do the other stuff we plan on doing today. So after um, I did that and I called them all in, you know, and they're two, four, and six, they're kids, you know, and, and um, And uh, they look at me and my oldest says, my oldest Logan says, wow, you look like a girl, a really, really big girl. <laughs> and we all busted out laughing and they just went back to playing. And so for their whole lives, they've known exactly who I am. And that's built a really special bond between us and a trust because they knew if I shared this with them, there was nothing I would hide from them. So they knew they could trust me. They knew I would always be open and honest. And that's really helped create the special bond that we have. And uh, did you now do full Janet? With them and with the society and you for gender? Yeah, I would say, you know, my gender's still somewhat fluid. I mean, yeah. some days I present a little more masculine, some days I can be extremely feminine. But, um, 
But yeah, I mean, I, even now I blur the lines. I really don't try to think of things in male and female anymore, masculine and feminine. I just try to think about what's me, what makes me happy, what makes me feel good. In the days I feel like being a little bit more masculine, that's fine. In the days I'm ultra girly, that's fine too. But I, I definitely blur those lines and, and I try not to, you know, try to put, because for so many years I struggled to put myself in a box. Well, you know, I, I would say, well, I like weightlifting and I love sports. And I do all of these things that, you know, that makes me a boy. And well, I love makeup and I love fashion. Well, that makes me a girl. No, and that's the wrong way to look at everything because all of us are masculine and feminine. All of us have, you know, various interests and we're all unique. So really, it's just about being you. It's not about being what society tries to tell us to be. And now, one of the things I want to know, I saw your documentary. You want, you want to focus on being an activist. As you know, we have issues in North America, right? Mm -hmm. But I always say, for example, in Mexico, we have a genocide of transgender women. Mm -hmm. They just anybody can shoot a transgender woman and be free, walking free. It is terrible what is happening with Mexico, especially with women's rights and with women's safety. But transgender women is the most that is taking this aggression. Mm -hmm. Have you ever think to go internationally to continue to talk about human rights for transgender women? I would love to. You know, you know, we'll see what opportunities present themselves, but right now I'm speaking at colleges and universities and, and other organizations about gender and sexuality, and I think education is, is the most important thing, and, and it's important to be open and honest and be visible, and yes, I, I would love to expand the people I talk to and the people I can reach and the communities that you can help. Because it's just, it really what it boils down to, we're people just like everyone else. We have hopes and dreams. We want to be loved. We want to have a family, you know? And uh, it is, it's very difficult to know, um, you know, all the things that are going on in the world with transgender women. And I would love to be part of, you know, helping fix those things. Well, I had the best person to know you. I already sent her the documentary. But anything that you would like to send to us transgender Latino people? You know, just to let them know that it's never going to be easy and it's going to be difficult and there's going to be adversity, but to also let them know it's going to be worth it. And everyone, transgender or not, being true to yourself is, is extremely important and never let anybody or anyone, you know, anything stand in your way to being true to who you are. There you go, guys. Thank you so much, Janet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is amazing to have her here. Go see Transformer at Hot Dogs. And uh, talk to you soon. I'm very emotional right now, so we we talk later. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much.